Venezuela counts with a large list of architectural works with location that provides privileged panoramas, both urban and natural, and with unique styles capable of differentiating them from among the greatest works on the continent and the world. The example that will be presented is an iconic work of the Caracas culture, the National Art Gallery. The building is located between the Bolivar Avenue and the Mexico Avenue in front of the Parque Central set. It has a high degree of importance for the city, both for its location, passing through various venues to the current one, and for its iconic current location. It develops around citizenship as a bridge between two of the most important avenues in Caracas and around art, containing several of the most important works, mostly paintings, in the entire country. Its design makes it an artwork home of artworks, and it is characterized by its brutal style, based on the use of reinforced concrete with a smooth texture finish as the main construction instrument. It also has another element, such as the material and shape of the ceiling, that allows it to interact harmoniously with its surroundings, the large plaza in the front, the main avenues at each end, the warmth of the tropical sun, and the avila as the constant framework of the city. It was planned to maintain colors that exalt art aesthetics more than itself. The continuous and smooth gray color of the concrete on the longitudinal hallway portico in the exterior and the large columns of the main circulation area in the interior not only serves to give the typical feeling of strength of the concrete, but also to give a sense of familiarity with other of the gray architectural works in its closest environment, the Teresa Carreño Theater and the towers of Parque Central, which are also characterized by the use of this material. This color doesn't denote a specific character, and it can serve to various styles. It maintains a kind of classic and conservative style in the porch hall area, and radically changes to something much more modern in the columns that hold the ceiling at the very high, thus giving more prominence to that area. This ceiling plays a leading role along with the columns, extending throughout the length and height of the entire building. This one is made by sheets of dark tone that isolates the heat produced by the sun, managing to keep the internal space as fresh as possible. However, it doesn't cancel the natural illumination at any time. Control openings are created throughout the building that allow the necessary amount of light to enter so that the entire circulation space gets illuminated, but without dazzling. While in the wing where the artworks are located, the objective is to enclose the space as much as possible, not only to protect them from the damage of the incidence of the sun, but so that with the artificial lighting, the artworks and paintings can be focused on the exact points. The main circulation space, which is developed longitudinally at all times, doesn't feel monotonous thanks to the large staircases that not only break with the rhythm by repetition of the building given by the columns, but also maintain the language of grandeur thanks to its dimensions and scale. These ones connect the circulation of the corridors of the lower and upper area, one that serves to appreciate the interior of the building and the other where the outside and the city can be seen. These two corridors have transversal access to the exhibition wing that also have vertical circulation in it. For being an exhibition building, it's needed an adequate acoustics for uninterrupted appreciations from the noises of the street, which is achieved, again, thanks to the use of concrete, which, thanks to its great thickness that doesn't allow the noise penetrates, completely covers the exterior of the exhibition wing, but it hides it inside with the treatment of the walls and polishing of the floor. Without any doubt, concrete has marked an important point in the history of Venezuelan architecture, as it is an element with incredible faculties, as it was already observed, and that has helped to create this and other of the greatest architectural works in Venezuela nowadays, such as the Teresa Carreño Theater and the Towers of Parque Central. 
It is important to mention how nice it is the fact that the National Art Gallery did something that it's sometimes considered a little bit superfluous, such as the vertical circulation. A simple staircase, the main thing and therefore the reason that it generates so many visits from everywhere. And that's why it has been decided to present about it and its great impact on the Venezuelan architecture.